Hello, I'm Martin Searle, the Independent Police and Crime Commissioner for Gloucestershire. I'm here at the Sabrina Centre, the Police Training Centre, and I've just welcomed 20 more officers into the constabulary. It's, it's great news. At election time, it's right to concentrate on police numbers, how strong they are. And I can tell you at the moment, we have 1,264 officers within the organisation. That is great news. We also have 896 police staff. Again, that's grown considerably over the last several years. A really important part of the police centres is the 108 special constables and the 262 volunteers who support us. Now, I've seen people promising that they will increase our numbers by 300 constables or perhaps 150 if they want to split that between specials and regular constables. And of course, that's good. But what I want to know is... Does that include the 151 already announced by the government in 2018? Does it include the 79 paid for by you, the council tax uh, payer, or, or not? What actually is the starting point? Now, we have training courses scheduled in for the next several years for special constables and for police officers, and we're at capacity here right now. We're also pretty much at capacity on our budget. So we will grow, but we'll grow proportionately. Officer numbers will increase, special constables will increase. But so will the rest of the organisation in tandem with that. That's really important. Now, the big budget pressure we have at the moment is to improve our IT. Uh, everybody here in the top of the organisation agrees on that, and so do I. We have to improve our IT to improve our efficiencies. So... You know, yes, I'm going to grow the organisation, but I'm going to do it carefully. Now, I put together just a short paper on my personal website, the one that I pay for totally, just setting out the official figures. I won't give you estimates. I'll tell you exactly what is planned in, exactly what the costs are, so you can make your own mind up. You know, I don't need to spin this. We, all, we have grown the organisation really carefully and really well. And yes, we are grateful for the government for putting back some of the 20,000 they took away. Yes, that was a Conservative government who took them and put them back. I don't do the party politics. We are grateful. But I do get slightly cross when people double count and make promises they really, without saying how they're going to do it, come on.